very talented. <laughs> oh, we're up to the painting. Yeah, home stretch. Ooh, now what's your pet hate when people paint, Aaron? Because you hate watching other people paint oh. on television shows. Oh, I, if I were a TV show, they'd, they'd be doing like this. They'd be on a ladder. Go on. You can just put it on a pole. And just roll nicely. Oh. You make it look easier. It's not that easy to do. Oh. Make everything look easy. Oh. <laughs> so you've done... Two coats in here. Yeah. Two coats in here, except this wall, <laughs> which <laughs> I'm kind of like, why? Why has this been done out of order? But Aaron has been procrastinating, I think, on what to do with this wall. What's this? Coat number two. Coat two. We number are three, yeah. nearly there. just done a acid wash really want to get this dried as fast as possible because we want to get a couple of layers of paint on the floor before we move in on Thursday and today is Monday okay guys the truck is booked for tomorrow the floor needs another coat but before you do the second coat on the floor you've just finished jamming this I can see this is all ready now is it like totally ready okay so that's getting sanded that's getting painted. This wall here, that's been sanded. Okay, so that's gotta be sanded and painted. And then all the skirting boards and a few like um, bits of that foamy stuff need to go in a couple of spots. But guys, we have got the removalist truck book for tomorrow to bring everything over here. So this is Aaron's final day. They reckon the floor takes about 16 hours to dry. So as long as you've done all that by about three o'clock this afternoon, you don't get to knock off. Yes, you've got two more days of solid work. Right. Then you can awesome. have a rest. Thank you. <laughs> then you've got to do all the outside. Mm. Mm. Obviously the electrician hasn't been. He's been held up with COVID lockdown. Are they are they the right work boots? These. Yeah. <laughs> they are. Um, <laughs> and you know. Aussie work boots. Oh yeah. They're gonna they're gonna Matching protect you. Socks. They're gonna protect you. Jeez, I can't wait till you paint this whole house. This house has got like a never ending list of jobs. Don't you like it? Right. I'm going to the shed to pa finish packing it. Good. I'm going to come back and this is going to be like... Oh, just be like a dream world. Finished. Finished. Complete. Do it. Faster. Go. Yeah. Quick. Hurry. Well, that looks much better, doesn't it? It does. It's a bit neater. So what have you actually done? You've kind of put some kind of... Little angle what's it called? Just to An angle. Tidy it up a bit. From the hill. <laughs> If I came and helped now, at the final point, we'd have to like, say that Mel and Aaron built the shed. Oh, right. You said that anyway. <laughs> no, I've always said that you will build, you built the shed. Are you over it? Yeah. You ready to move all those books tomorrow? No. Oh, nice. The night before the move-in. Final coat. Yeah. This means it's done. Oops. All done. That was the top yeah. yeah, second coat looks great. I thought So this better be dry by mm. <laughs> the morning. What's for dinner? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Guess what? It's moving day! <laughs> I'm excited! Righto guys, the floor is done. The second coat. Now obviously you can kind of see here 
The concrete is not 100% level. Aaron was saying that he might end up putting like a little bit of strip like you would if you were putting floorboards down just to kind of cover up those gaps. However, I'm not that worried. We're gonna close it up with, we're gonna cover it in shelving units. So I'm really not that worried, but two coats, two coats of floor paint and we are done. Except for the electrician guys. We have to wait for the electrician to come back because of lockdown, so. Okay, so I know that it looks super sterile in here and some of you are probably going, why has she painted it fully white like that? But guys, the idea is to be able to bounce as much natural light around in this room as possible. So it's really important to me to get as much light in here possible. There's no windows. I've only got this one big door. So it's just so important for me. It's also going to help when I'm doing my photography because the more natural light, the more white that's bouncing around, the better my photos are going to be. And also while I'm streaming here on YouTube, it's going to be better light onto my face. But guys, you have to imagine like most of this floor area is going to be covered in shelves or packing units or packing tables. You know, I'm going to have stuff on the wall. I'm going to have fairy lights up strung up between those things on the roof. Um, there's, there's not actually going to be a lot of floor space that you're going to see once everything's in here. I'm going to put like a little grey mat, grey rug or whatever, carpet rug underneath my computer desk just to keep that a little bit, you know, warmer underneath my feet. But really, that back room, that's just going to be absolutely full of shelves. You know, it, was, it seemed pointless to me to lay an expensive floorboard when most of this floor space is gonna be covered up. So, you know, I'm absolutely stoked that we've done the white. The room is full of beautiful natural light. I can't wait to move in. It's gonna be a big day. These boxes are heavy. I have tried to put them into manageable size boxes because honestly, the books are really, really heavy. And these ones on the shelves here, they're probably like the heaviest books that we've got. So most of those are like cookbooks and they're non-fiction, a lot of them are hardbacks, they're heavy. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do the first run, we're going to try and get as many shelves over there so I can kind of fill, the, fill it up first with shelves rather than filling it up with boxes and then not being able to get the shelves in. So, first truck is full of shelves and shelves only, except for a couple of trestle tables. I'm already buggered. How many trips do you reckon we've got? Three trips, yep, I reckon two. Um, our eldest son was gonna help today, but he's got uni. <laughs> so he had a class from nine to 10 online. So we're hoping by the time we get home, he's finished his first uni for the day and can come back here and help us for round two. shelves gone. Um, there's a few shelving units in here but we're actually keeping one of these units for a couple more months to store some of our personal stuff in. Aaron's going to be building a storage room <laughs> at home after this shed but I'm starting to worry about the amount of boxes that I need to get over in fit into that room. Like I've got more stock than I've got room. <laughs> See our personal stuff? That's okay. These these books, they need to get over. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Yes. Buy storage units. <laughs> You've been good to me for a year, but I'm glad to be going. <laughs> 
Check his letter. Never moving again.